The punishment has arrived. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds. He is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian Priest. Damian Priest has taken aim at the grandest stage of them all. It almost feels like Priest is made for the spotlight that WrestleMania provides. He actually craves the spotlight, Byron. That was the word you were looking for, craves. I would say that Priest craves the spotlight and thus far in his career has earned this opportunity. Tonight is Damian Priest's chance to truly live forever. WrestleMania. Even the showcase of Immortals is overcome by darkness. The Phenom's opponent has got to know that the end is near on the grandest stage. Surreal moment here tonight. An awe-inspiring, truly frightening sight. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker. Someone who claims he is on his own. I'd watch my back. And representing the bloodline from San Francisco. Now 
Not your traditional tag team match in this one, guys. This one will be fought under a superstar Billy Graham cinching in the bear. Launching 
himself in the ropes. A rope step! Now it's Priest. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Elbow drop right on point. Oh, uh, they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. The Undertaker with a vintage crest in peace. This one has to be over. Form as that upper area takes more damage. Graham with a retaliation. Superstar Billy Graham cinching in the bear hug. Then we see him. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Oh, caught in the chin. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Launching. And he gets set back into the ring. He knew that was coming. Yes, Chris! Huge boot. This is it. Got it. They outlasted every other team in this match. Here are your winners. The team of Damian Priest. And we are looking at the last superstar standing in this matchup. Yeah, you cannot discount just how much endurance went into coming out on top in a match like this.
The following is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 511 pounds, the team of Brooks Chinson and Josh Briggs. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. combined weight of 608 pounds. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. Ivar and Eric. The The Creeds have arrived. A team whose tenacity is with combined equal. 515 pounds. Brutus and Julius. The The Creeds are comp Tag Team Tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one. I'm looking to go airborne. Hooking it up here. What's next? Sky high. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Face Buster. Man, that was vicious. He knows how to avoid contact. Bust! 
Muscled up with authority. Sit out power bomb. Did Jensen just close this out? Oh. Time throwing the heavy artillery. The cover! He stays alive, he stays alive. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it. Myself included. All that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. to the floor. A show of confidence from Ivo. Watch out. Tossing those steel steps like they're nothing. Back into the ring. Josh Briggs firing up. Display of power. Sit up, Powerbomb. Eyeballs in big, big trouble. Oh, La Chapa. Big impact from a tiny weapon. Any more hit from the middle rope? Oh, what a splash. A oh, foot just stomping down. Going for it all. Oh, look at Cole's line. Perched up top. Dominic Negro. And there's the cover. And they get the win. Outlasted every other team tonight. Here are your winners. The team of Brooks Jensen and John. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Oh, yeah, you have to believe this win is going to stick with them for a long time. Surviving against all these other superstars and standing tall here and now.
The following is a women's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team... One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley. The nightmare has arrived at War Games. The Eradicator Rhea Ripley has certainly earned her many monikers within the confines of War Games. She led her team to victory in the first ever Women's War Games match and set a standard for brutality at Survivor Series War Games. We have seen Ripley continue to embrace her sadistic side. We've seen her become more ruthless with every passing match. And guys, that means every time Rhea Ripley steps foot inside War Games, she is more dangerous than ever. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from... War games have now begun as these two teams pick their first combatants against one another. And in these early minutes, it's all about survival. The true war doesn't even really begin until more superstars have entered the cage. Scooped up and down. Oh, man, what a kick. Tough position to be caught in here. into the corner. Ooh, man, what a hit. Oh, my goodness. And that was a well-executed attack. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. The count has started, and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, it's got a such brutality from Rhea Ripley. And the upper hand belongs to Rhea Ripley. She hit her hard. Giving her team the advantage, but she's looking for her own advantage. Fuck Jack. Gosh, landing face first. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Oh, runs right into the table. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. One up, uh oh. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. Counting down the seconds as this match gets closer to being even. Jade saw that coming. Like a bat out of hell and about to even things up in war games. Saw that one coming. Oh! Ooh! And the knee. You... This is the edge of the knee. Ooh! And Corey, this is going to be an incredibly difficult environment to gain any control in. In a war games match, it's crucial that you embrace the chaos. 
There's no way to get total control of the action inside the cage, so you have to be ready to go with the flow. Whichever team can do that will have the advantage here as far as I'm concerned. Is their opponent with a hip toss. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Countdown underway. The odds have out to no longer be even. Holding cages open and away they go. Ready to get into the action. Oh, and with absolutely no regard for her well-being, she just put her through a table. Complete and utter chaos in this women's matchup. She's not going straight in. She wants something from under the ring. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Giving her team the numbers advantage and bringing a bit of backup into the ring. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Muay Thai clinch. Rhea Ripley with the move. I don't like this idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. Door swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. Yeah, these two teams gave it everything they had and then some. But in the end, only one team could stand tall as the victor of War Games.
Grayson Waller, one of the most annoying competitors in all of WWE. I think you meant to say coolest. No, I meant annoying. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller has no respect for tradition and basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem, Saxton. You better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. Quite simply, the greatest of all time, John Cena. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all time, John Cena. Big match John is back where he belongs at the showcase of Immortals. A name he definitely earned. He competed for the WWE Championship in seven consecutive WrestleManias. Since then, Cena has had epic clashes with the likes of The Rock, The Undertaker, and Bray Wyatt. Now, he's already cemented himself as a WrestleMania icon, but I see many more WrestleMania moments in Cena's future. And I think we're going to see one more here tonight.
Here comes the excellence of execution. Gentlemen, the pink and black attack is here. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, bring in at 200. One of the baddest men to ever step foot in the WWE. He's a Hall of Famer. And from Warner Robins, Georgia, bring in at 200 at 75. The Hardcore Hall of Famer. And from parts unknown. Multiple teams facing off in this tornado tag match. In a tornado tag situation, you never know. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Uh oh, Batista setting him up. It could be time. Will that keep Michaels grounded? Will it be? Now, Batista. He breaks the pin. Boom! Got him set up. This could be a cord. He stepped on. Matt, he thinks he has it. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh, you can. 
can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And all time like Cena, not afraid to let his competition know what he thinks of him. in the gut wrench. Suplex! Off the top, Buckles! What's he gonna do? Here we go! Elbow drop! Oh, the ref in the wrong place there. The ref's gotta be better than that. Smack with the top one. Just a continuous 
vicious rush on Farouk here. Cena's having the right. Yes, the trash can connects. Talk about taking out the trash. Grayson lining him up from the top turnbuckle. Lift off. Rest to it. Get out of hard there. Oh, what a clothesline! Oh, man. These are dangerous attacks on the bone, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. He must have had that scalp. I don't care who you are, you can't take a second of attacks like that without it affecting you. Devastating flourish from Waller there. Heavy work beat from the top. And it's Cena. Through the air. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. From the top, the leader of the C Nation. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Certainly no easy task surviving against the rest of their competition in this match. Yeah, what a match. I can only imagine how they must feel right now. Yeah, a certain amount of pride has to come with surviving elimination matches.
Look who it is. The following is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 510 pounds, the Vaughn Eriks. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. treat tonight the cocky young cruiserweight former ECW star who has had unmet oh no not this guy again and from truth or tag match set to begin. How is this different from a regular tag match? And I think we just might see Joe can sense victory will Bischoff make it pay off. Mark Coffey in control. He takes down his opponent and there is crowning glory. Joe got it. Can he end it? And Bischoff was on the road to get that elimination. Watch 
the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end. Uh -oh. Oh, no! That puts him in total control. Guerrero making clear he has his number. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. And that was an effective attack, guys. Going fast and living dangerous. 
Murphy. Lands the trash can. That'll leave a mark. Toss back. Look at this. Somersault punch out. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Curling your own body like that is insane. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! And he slides him back to the mat. Well-placed kick. Looking for a high-risk move. Uh-oh. I think that's... Oh, a claw! There's the claw! In the elimination! The last team standing! Here are your winners! The Von Erics! That superstar survived against enormous odds in this elimination match. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge. I'm getting word we have a situation backstage, and it, it looks like now we have a brawl on our hand. Ah. 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 Oh, God, what a brain buster. Oh, boy, foreboding message here. Opening those doors. Oh, solid form. What's he going to do here? Ooh, and Van Dam turns the tables. Evades the attack. Super kick! Boom! He fends off the attack. Super kick! 
Whoa, oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Desperate use of the headbutt to get out of trouble. Drop kick from behind. Super kick. He's starting to climb up the ambulance. Ooh. He doesn't have a lot of room up there. I can't emphasize enough how ill-advised this is. Oh, man. He's headed to the roof of the ambulance. Being taken apart and might be getting a look of their ultimate fate right now. And Rhodes wants more from his opponent. Tossed into the back of the meat wagon. Perched on top of the ambulance now. He's got something big in mind. Nothing good is up there. I'll just say it right now. Oh, my God. Up on top of the ambulance. What's he going to do now? Rhodes letting his opponent know who's in charge. Oh, that hurt. He reverses it. Ooh, stinging kick. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Fighting back. Trying to make his way atop the ambulance. A dangerous position to be in. Nice. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. No, 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 no. Oh, what a fighting. Well, now we know what lengths either one of these competitors will go to in order to win this battle. Vicious right forearm. I can't imagine that felt good at all. The way things are going, I think we're going to need another ambulance out here. It rolls his counter. Oh, so it's coming. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Some intimidation tactics from Cody Rhodes. Broken arrow. Ooh. And there is nothing but unforgiving steel on the roof of the ambulance. This is the viciousness this match brings out in people. Smartest decision he's made all night. Nothing good comes from fighting up there. The American Nightmare playing those mind games, goading the competition. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Cody Rhodes laying down the gauntlet to his opponent. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Oh, sent clean through the window. Broken glass flying everywhere. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Oh, goodness. Right into the glass. It's not a barber shop, but it's still a window. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. There they go. Ooh. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help back there, please?